person. Today, we're going to be cooking some Maruchan ramen noodle soup. Now the first step is filling your pot with water. So you know, you, you go over to the sink, hi Mr. Sink, and you turn it on, and you fill up your pot of water until it's happy. Yeah, that's enough water. Next step, you gotta bring the water to a boil. See? Now, boys and girls, here's the fun part. Watching water boil. So now the water just told me that it is ready for the noodles because it is nice and, and boiled. I can talk to water. Now the next step is to take your noodles out of the package, but like like so. See, now that we've got our noodles and our water, uh, now you want to um, just drop those noodles in there. And now make sure you don't burn yourself because that'd be bad. Now you're going to want to let these, these noodles boil for about two to three minutes for optimum cooking time. It has now been two minutes and the noodles are done. So you're going to want to turn the burner off. Let the noodles sit for a little bit. Now you're going to need one of these if you want to finish your noodles. Now you're probably wondering, why do you have a space helmet? Well, this isn't a space helmet. This is a pasta strainer. Now you're going to want to put the pasta strainer in the sink. Nice and gently like that. When you have properly placed the pasta strainer in the sink, you can then take your ramen noodles and pour them into said pasta strainer. Now this is the most crucial part of the ramen process. You gotta take your pasta strainer and noodles and transfer them to the bowl you plan to eat out of. Now for our viewers at home, let's do a little bowl review. This is a bowl. See, it's round, you can put things in it. Bowl. This is not a bowl. See how it's flat. Flat. This is a plate, not a bowl. This may look like a bowl, but it's not a bowl. This is a teacup. See, it's not a bowl. See the little handle? It's not a bowl. Th this, this thing? Also not a bowl. This is a mug. Can you say mug? Mug. This is a bowl. See? Has that nice bowl shape to it? You can hold things. Bowl. Ladies and gentlemen, now most ramen noodles come with a flavor packet. See, now the flavor packet is added to the ramen noodles 
after you're done cooking them. Now you see, I'm going to demonstrate how you open the flavor packet. So you tear along the serrated edge, and you tear it a little more into your ramen noodles, cre creating a flavor explosion, as some, some people have described it. See here, some of the flavor has melted into the ramen. So now you're going to want to take uh, a fork and just just mix it in there. Yeah, just mix the, mix that flavor in there. Just mix all that flavor just right right in to the ramen. Now that your ramen noodles are properly flavored and cooked, you can eat them. Mmm, tastes like salt. So salty and go fuck.